Oh, this is a big bag. Concentrate on not crashing. Don't concentrate on not crashing. Oh, actually, that guy's actually turning in, so yeah. don't actually go over the roundabout right now. Oh no, you're good. Morning. Welcome back to another video. Today is probably the most exciting, one of the most exciting videos we are making. Would you not agree? Yeah. 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 We are doing our hard hat tour, so our site visit for our brand new house. So we are really, really excited. The time is, what is that? What does that say on your van, Dean? 10.18. So yeah, we have to get a move on. So um, I'm going to show you around our site tour. We're going to see how it goes. Apparently they're going to teach us how to um, like uh, use some of our appliances and things like that. So it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. You're taking pictures of me getting my new boots on. You're so strange, Dean. Why? Apparently we have to wear like sight boots or something. I need a new pair, my arm's got holes in the toes. Dean just brought his own boots. Well no, I need to buy a new pair of boots anyway, so... so this is our front door. Bloody massive. Okay, so here we are. This is the kitchen. Um, we don't actually like the worktops. We're gonna get them changed, um, but it was the only option really that we could think to grab. Um, and this is also our downstairs toilet. Lovely greyish kind of tiles. They're really, really beautiful, really neutral. So we're gonna be able to jazz this up a lot, this bathroom. And our little washing machine, which New Living kindly upgraded for free for us, bless them. We didn't even ask them, they just done it for us. And yeah, so moving on upstairs, obviously the living room is to the left. Um, we just chose this carpet, um, just we didn't know what other colour to go for, but it's worked out in our favour. It's such a neutral colour. Um, we don't really want a bold house to start off with. We don't know how we're going to style it, so we're just going to keep it neutral for a year, see how it goes. And this is our cupboard upstairs, um, or dog's bedroom depends on how that goes probably gonna need a lot of storage although our loft space which um, I'll show you in a sec is absolutely massive this is the back bedroom that overlooks the garden um, quite a big garden as you can see and massive windows it's so light and so airy in this place it's so beautiful and yep there's the loft I'm talking about um, looking down the hall now so we've got bedroom in front master bedroom to the right and also a bathroom to the left. Hey, Dean. So there is Dino. Hey Dean. Hey Dean. He does not smile for anyone. Hello. Not even hello. for me. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is the front bedroom here, which looks a lot bigger in person. For some reason it doesn't show up on camera how massive this room actually is. Um, again, we've got massive windows at the front, so lots of light coming in. And here we have the family bathroom so that that empty wall above the sink is going to be um, a full-on mirror from the top of the tiles to the top of the ceiling um, yeah pretty nice shower and bath there and then coming back out into the hallway opposite we have our master bedroom so not floor to ceiling windows in this one but I kind of like it that way I feel like it's going to be quite cozy especially in the winter and then behind this, we have our like built-in wardrobe space. They've just got to put the doors on. Those doors are going to be um, like mirrored doors. And here we have our ensuite. So again, with the greyish tiles, um, it's pretty standard. There's going to be a massive mirror again above the sink that takes up the rest of that wall space. So it's going to be lovely and light and bright and massive mirror so that would be really nice i'll probably put like a accent color in there i like the idea of having black in there just just sort of white black and that grayish color but we'll see i'll keep you all up to date on how that goes but yeah so another look at the hallway that goes up into the loft 
it's like um, another two rooms in the loft. So yeah, really excited. And they're moving outside now, so this is in the carport. We have a big shed to the side there. Dean's insistent on knocking it down and building it up in brick. And we have our back doors. And this is our garden. We have a garden tap as well. And that line there is where our fencing is going to go. So we've got quite a big garden. The turf should be going down the day before we move in. So I can't wait to see that go down and see the building and or the garden really just taking shape. So there you have it. Oh, so hot. So we are all done now. We're in Dean's van. And we're gonna go into Chelmsford and we're gonna have lunch because we both got day off work. And yeah, we're gonna go and see what we can find to maybe fill up our new house stuff. Um, Bolt stain. It's cool, isn't it? It's beautiful. I kind of prefer the layout as well. Where the showroom is on one side, we got the mirror in our house, and I kind of prefer it, don't you think? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah? Yeah. It's nice. It looks nice. Yeah. So, not really house tour related but definitely new house related update. Um, we finished up our house tour and we basically had to sign a load of contractors for our solicitors and we need to drive to Chelmsford now to drop them off. Got halfway to Chelmsford um, to drop the paperwork off. Didn't have the paperwork. Dean didn't pick them up off of the side and he's blaming me and I'm blaming him and whatever, but just thought I'd include that on here just as part of the day that we've had. It's just been one of those days where everything's crazy and, but I will. So, well done, Dean. And just like that, we are home. So, um, yeah, basically we had a look around our brand new house, which was really, really exciting. Um, I thought they were gonna show us round as in like, show us how things work but that didn't really happen but that's fine um i guess we'll do it on moving day which is going to be another thing we've got to add to our list is what it is um but we did have a look around a few of the shops um, in chelmsford and we had a look in dunelm as well which was really really cool uh, we got a rug we got some um our knife set because we still haven't got any like decent kitchen knives um so we've got a sabatia set um yeah, so I'm just really, really excited now. It just feels like it's finally real after two years. I think we actually reserved the property um, in September 2020. So <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time coming and we were supposed to be moving in literally this time last year. So we should have been celebrating our first anniversary in the house. Oh well, it kind of didn't go to plan, but it's what it is, that's life, isn't it? Um, so yeah i just feel like i'm in a little bit of a bubble really it's been so long and now we're finally here you know just week a matter of weeks away so yeah crazy as we were walking around we did see a few like blue sticky tape things hanging on things and the sales lady Lisa she said that it's basically like snags that they've found um and I was showing my dad the video of like the house and that and even he was like oh that unit's out that unit's out make sure that you get them to change it but it had a blue tag on it so we knew it was going to get changed anyway because it was a defect there wasn't actually that many defects there was a lot on a few of the internal doors because they looked like there were some scuff marks and digs and stuff Probably where the tradesmen have just been in and out and doing stuff to the house so that's you know pretty standard but um yeah there really wasn't that much um they've pretty much finished the whole house now electrics plumbing everything's all done it's just um the lawn grass whatever you whatever you call it whatever side of the pond you're from um so the grass hasn't been fitted. They did say it's probably gonna be something that gets done the day before moving day because it's been so hot. I mean, yesterday was the hottest day of the year. 
um, the hottest day I've ever seen in the UK I think it was like 39 40 degrees Celsius so kind of glad they didn't fit the turf in before because could you imagine that would just die um, in the heat so I'm really glad they haven't fitted that yet other than that there's really no no snags that we could see we are going to get a professional snagger in I can't imagine there would really be that much to be honest um, Dean's but Dean being a roofer has found a few things he's not happy with but he's a roofer so he's you know picky about roofs um but yeah just walking around and just feeling like it's actually finally ours it was a bit of just a bit of a dream really we are just really really excited and we just feel so grateful and so lucky that we've actually managed to get a house like in lockdown as well it's really 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 bizarre um because that's when we reserved it when we were in lockdown yeah just got to buy some furniture now and just hang on in there until moving day so it's been a long time coming but yeah just wanted to take you on a little empty house tour um before we actually do move in so i probably won't do an empty house tour on moving day i'm just gonna video the whole thing it's just gonna be too much to do so i will film the journey of moving out into our brand new new build um so that's coming up soon hopefully in the next few weeks fingers crossed they don't delay us again um and yeah thanks thanks for watching it's it's been a journey um it's been a while since i've posted any videos as well and it is purely because i mean i'm not even going to show you my background um it's just i haven't really got anywhere decent to film stuff um and I, things get so crazy because i'm in and out in and out uh, where Dean lives with his mum, I live with my dad to try and save money. Um, we didn't want to rent, um, like private rent, because we would never ever have managed to save for our house. So, yeah, life is crazy, and there's nothing really for me to film at the minute. Life is just too stressful, too busy, and I don't like my background. <laughs> it will look a lot better and once i'm in the new house i will vlog all the changes that come and all the things we decide to do with it so it's really exciting stuff so thank you for following us on our little journey for buying our first house um love to you all i'll see you in the next one bye